so hello and welcome back so in this video basically before I go through the book over here which was I guess um, these exercises over here that try these parts I tried to do these exercises but I basically after 40 minutes or so I found out that um, well I don't have enough information about the about the Indian number system so I had to go back to I had to go on the on Wikipedia and and read a little bit about the Indian number system numbering system and well I'm going to just read through this this part and see what we can find over here so so basically what this whole thing is about, we are going to talk a little bit about Indian numbering system and basically what we have is the Indian numbering system is used in the Indian subcontinent all of these countries um, Bangladesh, uh, India, Nepal and I cannot pronounce this word really, I don't know how this word is pronounced, Pakistan Pakistan and uh, and and Sri Lanka and Burma if I'm pronouncing the word right I, I don't know if the right pronunciation for this word so the term lakh which is hundred thousand or basically written this way in the Indian system and crore meaning 10 million or basically written this way in the Indian system are used in the in Indian English to express large numbers for example in India 150,000 rupees becomes 1.5 like rupees so we will talk also let, let me first write a couple of things over here so basically so basically that the first two things that we learn here is that uh, is that um, we have we have in Indian English we have the term lack we have the term lack which is which is basically a hundred thousand and in Indian basically in the in the Indian um, number system it's written not this way but this way meaning uh, 1 comma 0 0 comma 0 0 0 the same number of zeros basically it's basically the very same number but it's written a little bit differently and it's written a little bit differently and um, it's it's read simply one like uh, instead of 100,000 so basically if you if you were if you were to write for example 100,000 rupees would be this way of course there is there is a symbol for rupees which is uh, which is this thing over here I don't know what sort of letter that is I have been trying to learn um, Hindi but uh, I haven't I haven't been successful yet so in Indian English we, we write basically R S uh, dot and then a hundred thousand but the, the hundred thousand is actually written this way rs and then one comma zero 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 and that is one like rupees so and then there is another another thing that we have which is which is which is basically one crore and one crore seem, basically seems to be 10 million so one crore is basically 10 million in the international system and um, it's written basically this way in the in the Indian system meaning that you have the same three zeros here one comma then two zeros one comma then again two zeros one comma and then one so this is basically this is called one crore 
which is equal to basically it's the exact same number which is basically equal to basically 10 million now in india for example in india 150000 rupees 150000 is as you know based on what we said before is written this way 1 comma 5 0 comma 0 0 0 and so this becomes 1 lakh 50000 rupees and because and because well 50000 rupees or basically 50000 is basically you know that 50000 is one half of one half of 100000 you know that 50,000 is half of 100,000, then if this was, for example, 1 lakh 50,000 rupees, we would write it as RS 1.5, 1.5, 1.5 um, lakh rupees, of course, 1.5 lakh rupees, I'm sorry for this mistake. 1.5 lakh rupees lakh rupees or with a here they've written it with a with a small r so i'm i just write it as rupees so that's basically how they write they they write their numbers and um or they call they they they, they might even write it this way for example i NR meaning Indian rupees and one lakh fifty thousand rupees something like this and uh, well for example you could have another number here for example let's say 30 million 30 million and 30 million is basically uh, is basically if you write it in in the indian in the indian way so you write it three zeros over here two zeros over here so then again two zeros over here and a three over here you have the same number of zeros one two three four five six seven one two three and four which is seven so then this is basically here you have no suffix no suffix here here you have thousand Here you have lakh, and here you have crore, which is now this number is basically three, three crore, basically simply three crore. Mm. Now this could be of course three crore rupees or anything, but but the, the number is important here. So 30 million rupees becomes 3 crore rupees written as basically this way. So with commas at the, at the thousandth, at the thousand here, and then like, I'm sorry, the, this is at the thousand would be here and that the like would be here and, uh, and crore level. So the crore level, I suppose, so if this is the comma for the comma for the thousand probably here or and then for four thousand probably would be here and the crore would be here something like this we will find out about that and um, and for example this number let me see, let's see what what we can do with this number for example you have one one billion rupees so if you have one billion rupees one billion rupees is written as uh, well I get the three zeros over here one comma two zeros one comma two zeros one comma so I have now covered these two zeros and these two zeros and I have two zeros left plus the one so now let's see what happens here so now we have one two and two twos so i get basically two zeros over here meaning that in, in total i have three plus two is five seven and nine 
so nine zeros covered and then comma one and this becomes uh, I don't know this is thousand this is lakh this is crore um, so 1 billion rupees 100 crore rupees so as you know this is thousand let's 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 take this one step at a time if this is thousand this is lakh this is crore so then uh, so then how do you read this number now how do you read this number now so let's see 1 billion rupees 100 crore rupees or 1 Arab is written as this number so this is this is actually 100 100 crore rupees okay but again the one goes out of this 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 group of numbers and then you you would get a you would get a comma over here which is a little bit a little bit strange but well that's the way that they do it so this is 100 100 crore rupees for example of course if, if it was about rupees the number is important here while there are specific terms for numbers larger than one crore these are not commonly so let me see 100 crore rupees is and and you and it might be interesting to know that for example 100 crore rupees which is this number over here which is 1 billion is also called one arab and we will see the system of name a naming system for such numbers in in, in indian english so uh, while there are the, there are specific terms for numbers larger than one crore <coughs> these are not commonly used and most practitioners are not familiar with these in common parlance the thousand lakh crore terminology repeats for larger numbers so you have thousand lakh and crore you have thousand lakh and crore and then you, you kind of need to for example add or multiply numbers by this by the crore i guess to to get the, the, the larger numbers thus uh, one trillion so now let's see what happens to one trillion if you have one trillion you have 12 zeros here so this is thousand this is million this is billion this is trillion right in the in the international system so in the international system is this is one trillion one trillion now in the indian system it's written as two 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 and ten so i guess what they do is that after after the first after the first group which 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 contains three digits here then all the other then all the other groups are are going to be two 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 all the way up to well wherever you want to go so so one trillion then is going to be zero 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 and then you have another i don't know 12 minus is equal to nine zero so one two one two one two so this is six one two this is eight and this is nine and then you have a one over here so then then that becomes for example this is thousand this is this is um like this is crore and i suppose this is a, a thousand or or i don't know this is a if that was a hundred then the, then this must be a uh, hundred thousand a hundred thousand or this must be one hundred thousand one hundred thousand crore rupees for example 
which I suppose would be one like crore or something. Yeah, one like crore, which is a little bit odd. So now become because you have one hundred thousand here. So one hundred thousand, as as you know, we said that one hundred thousand is basically called one one lakh. So now I can call this number one lakh crore. Strange system. Okay. Now. Now the Indian numbering is equal to the Western numbering system from once. Uh, let me. The Indian numbering is equal to the Western numbering system from ones, then tens, and then hundreds. So, basically, let me write a number over here so that we can compare them. For example, um, you have a million over here. A million in the international system or the Western as they call it so this is one million this is one million now if you want to write the same number in the Indian system it would be one uh, zero I guess zero 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 meaning ten and then um, and then let me write this a little bit a little bit over here so if you have if you want to write the same number in the indian system you would write it as uh, one zero 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 and you have get six zeros here so now in this number let me erase this thing and this is one million Now in this thing, this is the ones, this is the tens, this is the hundreds, this is the thousands, this is the, this is the, for example, this is ten thousands, I'm referring to, to the place. And this is a hundred, this is a hundred thousands. And this place is called the, the millions or one millions. Of course, this is not right there. So this is, so this is called one millions. This is the, this is in the, in the international system. Now in the other system, you write your number this way, and it becomes so this, um, and then the, what's interesting here is that, let me erase this thing, erase this thing, and then in this, in this number system, when it comes to, to suffixes, there is no suffix here. There is no suffix here. And then here you have the suffix here becomes thousand. And here the suffix becomes million. And after that, if you had more digits over here, the suffix here would be, for example, billion. So that this is about the about the number, and what I mean by the suffix is that when when you want to when you want to basically read this number, let's say that you have a number over here, for example, I don't know, for example, let's say you have a number, um, you have a number, for example, uh, five six seven five. Two, three, five. So here you have no suffix. Here you have thousand, and here you have million. So you write, you want to write this number. You you write it as five. 
million comma six six hundred seventy five six hundred seventy five thousand comma two hundred thirty five. 200, 235, 35. So, and, and that's what they mean by suffix. I just made this word up. I, I have, I have actually never read this, 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 this word in any mathematics book. So that's basically all about the, the international system. Now let's, let's go through the, Let's go through the, the Indian system. But before that, I will take a few minutes rest. Okay, so now in the, in the Indian number system, that same number is going to be basically this way. So you know that you, you have to basically you write your number this way. You write your number as one. And then first of all, you have these three digits over here. So zero, 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 comma. And then you have two digits and then another comma. So now I've covered five zeros here. I have one zero and one and one one left. So one one and one zero. And then my number is basically written this way. So now you can see that in this number, I have basically this is the ones. This is the ones. This is the this is the ones place, this is the tens place, this is the hundreds place, this is the thousands place, this is the, well, uh, 10,000 is again, um, so this is one tens and hundreds, and then thousands, and then here you have 10,000, 10,000 place. But when you get to here, when you get to here, you will get to the, you will get to the, so then instead of 100,000, this becomes a lakh, which is the same thing as, as a hundred thousand, which becomes the same thing as a hundred thousands place. And then of course there are names for these, for these, um, for these, uh, for any digits you might have over here, but they kind of use a mul multiples of 10 multiplied by, um, by, uh, now maybe I, I should give you another number here so that we can get to crore as well. So now let me, for example, go to, let me actually write another number or, or, or we could even make some changes to this number. So for example, let's say that you have this a zero over here as well. And then you have a, uh, for example, you have, uh, I don't know. We could we could get some from one of these numbers, for example, this number over here. So let me actually let me actually go to one trillion because this one this way it's it's going to be more fun and much more uh, much more useful in this case. So let me go to one trillion. So let me start over actually and go to one trillion. So one trillion is basically this number. In the international system, this is this is one trillion. Let me actually write it somewhere else so, so that I can I can have some more space. So this number, which is basically one trillion, one trillion. 
So the suffixes that you have for the suffixes that you have for this kind of number are as you know by now, so this the suffix for this for these three digits is basically thousand. The suffix for these three digits is million. And the suffix for these three digits is a billion. And the suffix for the next three digits, of course, you could have, for example, two more digits over here. For these three digits would be trillion. And basically that's why we call this number, this number one trillion. Because, well, the, the, your one is basically within this group of numbers. And what I mean by suffix is, for example, if you had some number like this, I told you before, so one, for example, 235, 657, for example, uh, 567 and 278. So you have one, two, three, and four. Four times three is equal to 12. So you have 12 digits here plus a one. So then, for example, this number you, you would write as one trillion. One trillion, comma, 235, 235, 35, and then the suffix for this, this part is billion. billion and then for example I don't know 657 657 for example 657 and then the suffix for this part would be uh, would be million for example comma and then so on and so forth so that's what I mean by suffix. So, um, so now, so now what's ha what happens here is that in this number you have you have the ones place, you have the tens place, you have the hundreds place, you have the thousands place. You have the ten thousands place. You have the ten thousands place. You have the you have the hundred thousands place. Hundred thousands place. Hundred thousands place. You have the one millions one million place or one millions basically which is basically this, this, this part over here. So this is one million, one million, one millions place. Then this is 10 millions place, for example. This is 100 millions place. and so on and so forth so you can just keep going and going now now for example this would be one one billion one billions place ten billions hundred billions and then one trillions and so on and so forth so this number this number system works like this now if i were to write the same number in um, in the indian system i would simply I would simply what I what I would what I what I would need to do would be to write the three first digits as they are so one two three and one comma then I have two four basically two four six eight and ten digits left and out of that ten one of them is a one so I have nine zeros so basically one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then i have a one so now i have written all of my numbers down here so 
Now let's let's count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 digits. And here I have exactly 13 digits. So now in this number, in this number system, these suffixes are like this. So you have basically here you have these two digits as opposed to three digits are called thousand. These two digits are called lakh, are called lakh. These two digits are called crore. And then there are also names for these, for all of these digits. Like for example, this digit is called, I don't know, something like Arab or so on and so forth. But usually nobody uses this kind of thing. So, so for example, if and and they use some some multiple of of crore here meaning that 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 meaning that most probably crore has been enough for people up to now so they they just don't don't bother about the rest of these names and uh, and so now the placeholders here are a little bit different meaning that um meaning that um so here is the here here is the ones place, here is the tens place, here is the hundreds place. Just like this, there is no difference here. This is the uh, thousands place. This is the ten thousands place, which is basically the same thing, all the way up to here meaning that all the way up to here we have no problems this the, the, the two systems are the same but um, but then this place value is called one lakh instead of instead of a this is 10,000 so then after 10,000 sorry this is actually up to here 10,000 so when it comes to hundred thousand here we have hundred thousand but here instead we write we call it one lakh this becomes for example ten lakh and then and then for example these um these these you can simply call them for example you can call this for example a uh, hundred lakh for example 100 lakh this you can call a thousand lakh and so on and so forth so you can just keep going multiply this number by 10 and then you will get the next and next and next and next digits so now it says that um, the Indian numbering is equal to the Western numbering system from ones to ten to then tens, then hundreds, then thousands, and then ten thousand, meaning that all the way up to here, we have the same thing, all the way up to here, but then after that you have, after ten thousand, the Indian and the Western numbering diverge. According to the, according to the Indian numbering system, after ten thousand, the next power of ten is one lakh, then ten lakh, then one crore, uh, of course, there is a name actually here. Let me see. So I got. I guess I made a mistake over here. So it, there is still some name over here. So there is still some name over here. Let me correct myself. So this is. So this is actually one lakh. This 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 over here is one lakh. And this over here is 10 lakh, right? This is 10 lakh. But, and then there is a name over here, which, which you can use actually. So of course, this is one crore. And then after that, you have, you have 10 crore, of course. But after, but, 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 but past one, but, but basically past 10 crore, you have you have for example here you have this becomes a hundred crore 
hundred crore this becomes a thousand crore and then you can keep going for example this becomes a ten thousand crore for example this is ten thousand crore and then this one for example this one becomes a hundred thousand crore hundred thousand crore but you know that a hundred thousand is a lakh so you can you can simply call it one lakh one lakh crore so it's basically works like works like this so so for example here you have then the next power of 10 is 1 lakh then 10 lakh then 1 crore then 10 crore and so on according to the western numbering system after 10,000 the next power of 10 is referred to as 100,000 then 1 million and then 10 million and then 100 million and so on so the two numbering systems are not functionally different and this is something interesting for example if you let me go up here if I can if I have some space I don't have any space left okay so now the two num the two numbering systems are not functionally different this is important meaning that the two numbering systems basically work based on the decimal number system both are decimal number systems But the way that they represent the decimal number system are a little bit different as we saw over there. Now, for example, in the Indian system, if you want to write 10,000, you write it like this. And you actually, and you read it at, as 10,000. In the, in the Western system, 10,000 is, is, is basically written this way and read the same way, 10,000. Um, Now, of course, the names, I suppose, here are the same. This must be, this, this might be wrong because 10,000 is 10, 10,000 is 10,000 is in both systems. But when you, when it comes to 100,000, in the Western system, we write it this way and we call it 100,000. But in the Indian system, you write it like this. And it, it's called 1 lakh. And, uh, but it's basically the value of the number is basically the same. So now we have some more information over here, which is basically the use of separators. Um, the use of separators, it says the Indian numbering system uses separators differently from the international norm. Instead of grouping digits by threes, as in the international system, the Indian numbering system groups the rightmost three digits together until the hundreds place and then and thereafter groups by sets of two digits as we saw over there. And then one trillion would thus be written as uh, this number which we wrote over there and one lakh crore would be would be or one lakh crore would be 10 karab it's called karab this makes the number convenient to read using thousands lakhs crores terminology so so for example in the in the indian system you write 500,000 you write it as 5 lakhs in or if you have for example a number like 1 121,212,123 then you write it as this thing whatever that is 12 lakhs no this is this is actually this is the thousand place this is the lakh this is the 12 the crore so this becomes 12 crore 12 lakhs 12,123 which is well it's a good system and actually interesting or if you have 
17, 17 billion, for example, you write it as uh, this number, which becomes, for example, this is 1000 lakh crore, and it becomes 1700 crore. What is that? 1,700, I'm sorry, 1,700, 1,700 crore, uh, which is, of course, 1,700. 1,700 is the same thing as 1,700. So this is 1,700 crore, crore whatever the, the, the unit might be. Or this number, for example, you can see this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so this is uh, this is million, billion, trillion. So this is 67 trillion, 890 billion. Uh, so this is 67 trillion, 890 billion. The same number in the Indian system is written this way. And then you have, this is thousands, lakh, and crore. And then thousand, lakh, and crore. And then you have, you, you kind of need to read this number from here up to here. And then add it to, somehow to the crore, meaning that this number is, um, well, uh, it's, um, uh, if I can read it, it's 6 million, uh, seven, seven eighty nine thousand, which is not the right way of reading this number. So, uh, I guess, I guess you would need to group these three numbers together, right? Group three, these three numbers together, so that, that would be the three, the, f the, the first three digits. And then the first two digits, the, 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 the next two digits would be thousand. And then this would be like, so 67 like, 67 like 89,000 89,000 crore this would be you know let me show you how to read this number because it's actually a little bit tricky so this is actually a very interesting example so if you were to if you were to read this number you would do it this way See, this is a very good example. I, I don't... Now I can get rid of my own image as well. Okay. So, now, what you, what you can, what, what, what I want to do is actually I have a, I have this number over here, which is, um, one, two, three, and four. So 67 trillion. So this is 67 trillion, 890 million, 890 billion, 890 billion. And that is your number, right? So this is 67 trillion, 890 billion. And if you want to write the same number, and you know how to write, how to read this number in the international system, you have no problem with that. But if you want to write this number in the Indian system, you would, you know that it starts with three digits on the right, and then one, two, three digits here, and then two digits, two digits, two digits, and so on and so forth. So you'll do the same thing. You'll do the same thing. So three digits on the right, I'll, I'll write my three digits here. And then two digits, two digits, so that makes two, two sets of zeros. Two digits, two digits, and then 89. And then 67. So this is the number in the Indian system. Now, now in this number, and I hope that I haven't made any mistakes. Oh, I have one set of zeros. Oh, I have made a mistake here. I'm sorry. This is 67 trillion. And after that, I'm supposed to have 12 zeros or 12 digits, which is not the case here. I was, I was wondering what, 
so this is not actually right so this number this is now 67 trillion 890 billion okay so now this is in the international system now i want to write the same number in the indian system so as i mentioned you write the three first digits here one comma and then the rest of them is going to be two digits two digits and so on and so forth so two 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 so three sets of zeros i get here and i get this zero plus a nine so i get one two three four five six seven so seven zeros one two three four five six and seven zeros and then i have a nine and then i have a 78 and then a six okay so now let's see if we haven't made any mistakes so one two three sets of zeros here and then a 90 78 and a six and three sets of zeros down here so now you want to read this so the suffix is here there is here no suffix here this is the this is the thousands this is the thousand over here you have lakh over here you have crore and and then the past the crore then you just need to somehow manage to put words and numbers together to to represent your number in terms of lakhs of course there are there are actually some some terminology here past one lakh i guess let me see for example you have one crore and then you have 10 crore and then you have one arab you know you have one thousand one 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 thousand crore means 10 10 arabs and then it is one karab and then the, that is 10 karab and then it is one one nil and then ten nil and then you have for example one padma you have ten padma then you have one shank and then ten shank and then ten shank is basically ten raised to power eighteen one and eighteen zeros in front of it so this terminology is there but it seems that nobody uses it okay so then because of that you need to somehow manage to you you need to somehow manage to 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 basically read your number in terms of crore because if you use that terminology then people are not going to understand you people are not going people might actually get confused you know okay so now what you what you do here to read this number we said that basically there is no suffix here there is a thou this is thousand like and crow so when you get to this kind of situation what you need to do is is basically read the, the number from from the very last digit that you get from here all the way to the beginning of the crow uh to the crore uh, number grouping this number grouping is the crore number grouping read the number all the way up to here and then express it in terms of crore what that means is that and of course you need to read the number in the in in the in the based on the indian number system meaning that if i were to read this number based on the international system seven eight zero nine zero 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 seven six seven eight nine zero 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 this would be for example six million seven eighteen seven eighty seven hundred eighty nine eighty nine thousand but you don't want to do that so so now i want to read that the same number in the indian system so then in your mind 
you have to move these commas momentarily around so that you get this this number in the Indian number system so six seven eight nine zero zero nine zero 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 six seven eight nine zero 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 so you want to read this number in the in the Indian number system first group is three and then two and two so then this number is is this is thousand and this is of course lakh the, the third grouping is lakh so this is 67 lakh 89,000 so this is 60 67 67 lakh 67 lakh 89,000 and then because you were over here and you were you were reading actually this number you have you have to put the the word crore as well meaning that it this is actually 67 lakh 89,000 crores right and that is basically how you read this number which is going to be this thing over here see 67 67 lakh 67 lakh 89,000 80 89,000 crore and that's how you read this 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 sort of number so I hope that um, you enjoyed this video and I and I thank whoever wrote this um, this Wikipedia um, this Wikipedia um, article because I was really stuck so and well I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll upload this video to YouTube so that I mean, society, any, if anyone needs it can use it thank you and see you